The rigid joint command creates a joint that would translate to a welded, bolted, glued, or other rigid relationship between parts in the real world. All relationships created with the joint command in Inventor are seamlessly translated into joints in a dynamic simulation environment. In the window, you can see the Arbor Press model in a semi-disassembled state. We will use the joint command to add rigid relationships in order to join the Arbor Frame to the base plate. On the Ribbon, Assemble tab, Relationships panel, select the Joint command. Move the Mini Toolbar if needed. By default, the command is set to Automatic which does a pretty good job of figuring out the required relationship, but we will change it to rigid for this exercise. Select the automatic drop-down and change the joint type to rigid. First, we will join the base plate to the arbor frame. The arbor frame is grounded, as denoted by the push pin icon in the browser, so we need to begin by selecting the free floating base plate. Hover the cursor over the top face of the base plate until you see the joint glyph. Then, click to accept it. Now, rotate the arbor frame to expose the bottom, and again, hover the cursor over it until you see the glyph there as well, then click. The base plate will slide over into place. Now, select the first alignment button. Select the side of the base plate and the side of the arbor frame. Now select the second alignment button and click the lower side of the arbor frame. And that's it. A relationship was made. Click OK. Expand the Relationships folder in the browser and there it is, Rigid 1. We will now add two more rigid joints by attaching the handle caps to the ends of the lever arm. Again, select the joint tool and set the type to rigid. Zoom in on one of the handle caps and select the end and then click the end of the lever arm. The two parts will come together. Click apply and repeat the procedure on the other handle cap. When you're done, Click OK to accept the relationships and end the command. Congratulations, the Arbor Press now has three rigid relationships. The first is the base plate to Arbor Frame, representing a welded relationship, and the other two are the handle caps, representing two glued relationships.